Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is going to be showing you how I enlarge my images from Cricut Design Space and also using Microsoft Word. And to clean my image, I'm going to be remo uh, using remove.bg. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. To me, this was pretty easy, simple, but then again, let's go ahead and see how it helps you all guys. So, okay, as you all know, whoever works with Cricut Design, we are limited to the size. Again, this is a good size for, you know, a kid's, you know, a little girl shirt, but when you're trying to make it for an adult, of course, we want a bigger image. But then again, we are limited. We are not able to uh, print from Cricut Design Space. So this is what I want to show you guys. So to go ahead and snip this, we're going to be using a tool that's called snipping tool. In this case, all right, in this case, I already have mine open, which is this right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all. So y'all would go in and type in file explorer. Then this is going to pop up. So you want to go ahead and go to this PC. Once you're here, you're going to type in snipping tool, which is there. As you all can see, if you don't have it, it's going to take a while before it loads. Once it does load, there's going to be a bunch of them that are going to pop up right here on your screen. I'm going to give it a few seconds to see if it pops up so you can have an idea if it doesn't. You just go ahead and wait for it to load and then all of them are going to pop up and then you go ahead and click snipping tool. Once you have that, it's going to go ahead and appear like this. All right. So once you have that, then you're going to snip. Before you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure you have no grids. Okay. And make sure this is not outline. You want to go ahead and make sure it's clear. You want to go ahead and click it here. You're going to click new and you're going to snip your picture, which would be like that. Once it's here, you're going to save. We're going to put tick tock piece. I'm just going to name it like that. Tick tock piece. We're going to save it. We're going to minimize this one and we're going to go ahead and since we know or I know that I'm not going to have a clean image, I'm going to have a solid square around. I'm going to go ahead and go to remove.pbg, enter. Once you do that, okay, this is going to pop up. You're going to go ahead and want to upload your image. And let's see. Tick talk piece. And we're going to open. Once we open, it's going to pop up. Make sure that you have everything filled in because previously I had done it. I downloaded and whatnot. When I was about to print, I noticed that there was like some color in there missing. So you want to go ahead and just make sure you just review it before you download. You know, so we click download. And on the left down corner side, you're going to go ahead and open. Once it's here, you're going to save. Save as. I'm going to go ahead and put PNG tick talk. Okay, so after you've saved your image, you want to go ahead and go into Word app. We're going to go ahead and wait for it to open. Once it's open, click blank page. Once you're there, you're going to go ahead and click layout, orientation, landscape. As you all can see, it gave us a wider page. Then we're gonna go to insert pictures. In this case, I saved my picture to this device. And then we're gonna go ahead and put PNG 
TikTok. Enter. Hmm. That's weird. There you go. Insert. All right. And when you're here, you're not going to be able to move your image. You're going to click this. Layout options. Here. Fix position on page. After you do that, you're going to go ahead and be able to move your image around. And that's exactly what we want. So we can enlarge the image. Once we're there, me personally, what I'll do is just click any random shape to make sure I just have a clear, clean. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the front. This image, move to the front. There you go. So it's clean. We're good. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut this. There you go. So that's it, guys. And then you just go ahead and enlarge your image. I mean, if it's possible, you want to get, you know, stretch it. You want to just, there you go. And of course, you just want to go ahead and make it pretty big, but it's going to be able to fit into your printing page. Then we go to file, print. In this case, I have a Sawgrass SG500, but I'm gonna be using the Sawgrass Print Manager, which is ready to print. I'm gonna go ahead and, I was not going to print, but I'm gonna go ahead and print to show you all how it comes out. So we can see it together, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and click print. And it's supposed to be printing. And this is a paper that I'm using. This one right here. There you go. So here it's going to show you, it'll give you a preview if you're using print manager, it is going to give you a preview of your image and then it fits perfectly fine. And I already have it mirror. So it's going to, it's good. And I'm going to be using on um, polyester. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and it's high quality and I'm going to print now. I hope guys this really helped. Um, sorry, you know, I, I kept on stopping and whatnot because my phone, I don't know, my phone, I was recording and my phone just suddenly turned off and I was like almost done. And then I come to realize that I was not even recording. So I had to go back and record where I left off. And I come to find out that it was because of, um, uh, my SD was full. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and it's about to start printing now. And I really, really hope this was very helpful helpful to you guys. Okay, bear with me. It's coming. There you go. It's printing. Hi guys that's my son guys in the back okay guys so we have it here there it is that is the image so once we flip it around we put it on the shirt that's exactly how we want it there you go well, thank you guys very much for watching and please, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it and y'all have a good one. Stay tuned because I will be working on different things, things that I'm learning I want to share with you all as well. We're here to help each other. 
So you all have a blessed day. Thank you guys. Bye.